welcome back to CrossCode! My stomach feels a little bit better, but still not so much as it could be. Um, I don't know where that man is. Oh shoot. Oh, I messed up. I don't know where that guy is. I'm supposed to be attacking or finding. Bulls, man. I don't know what the best route is to level up. So I'm not quite probably just doing quests and stuff, right? Oh. Oh, level up! Awesome. Level eight. Oh yeah, this she has a fruit set. Trade. Hold on, let me. There's... There's like... No... Okay, now I need a spice set. No, no, no. I just need another veggie set. That'd be good. Veggie set. Boom. Oh. Bring the item to the barkeeper of the pub at the gut puncher of the sea. what they mean? Right? Hmm. I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm unsure. Hmm. So, I asked one of my friends for things I should talk about on my channel and she supplied me with a good answer but let me do this okay so you manage to, to get everything quickly go to the pub at the beginner's arch and give it to the barkeep okay so beginner's arch arc whatever is down here so first thing is who's my favorite artist and i'm assuming they don't mean um what's the one for? i'm assuming they don't mean uh, Like art, you mean music. So my favorite music artist would probably have to be. Hmm, this is hard. I I like rap music in general. If I if I had to pick, I do like Drake. I like Drake a lot. He's pretty chill. But what else? I do like band, like like uh, in, like guitars and stuff. So if I had to pick like music like that, Emma Rosa, like Emma Rosa, like I like, had a Mighty, uh, Paris, Bring Me the Horizon, and the Amity Affliction. Oh, I finally another seeker visiting my humble establishment. Are you the one with the new supplies? Yes. About time that Mr. Namsworth promised me those ingredients hours ago. Makes me wonder why we even pay fancy paper pusher who like him for just doing some calls anyway. Next time I might just contact those doing the real work myself. Anyway, I sent him a confirmation about the job. You better go back to him to get your reward. Awesome. Sounds like a plan. I like raps a like I like Drake, uh, Cardi B. I recently started listening to Sauce Waffle, who's chill. Music tastes are kind of eclectic. I will listen to literally anything except for like country and bluegrass because I just can't get into it. Um, I like classical music. I've already gotten the message from satisfied customer. Good job. Here is your payment. I hope I can count on your future assistance. Gold beetle veggie wrapped click rewards. Yay. Another mission? Oh my, oh my, oh my! Hi! Ah, there you are again. I'm currently facing a high priority problem and it's giving me quite the headache. You see, I'm waiting for an urgent delivery of fresh ingredients from one of our contracted food collectors. An important business lunch will be ruined if she doesn't show up soon. Hi? Yes, thank you for asking. It would indeed be very helpful if you could lend me your hand again and keep your eyes open for our collector. She should be somewhere in Autumn's Rise. Could you try to find her and examine what happened? A level 13 mission. Great. Excellent, I'm expecting swift results. Well, I can only do but so much when I'm level 8. Guys. 
final landmarks in Autumn's Rise. And then this man. So. I've forgotten how to, like, like, actively. Is it tab? Oh, shoot. Shoot, man. How do I. There's a way to. Cycle, quest, menu. Oh, B. Thank you. That's all I need to know. Boom! Look at that. So if I press B, will it pop up? Nope. Okay, great. So if I press tab, will it pop up? So how, what's the point of having it? Is it Q? Oh, there we go. Got it. Um, yeah, I like all types of music, except for, like, the one I said. My favorite classical artist, I do enjoy, oh, classical, like, band, instruments, clarinets, all that jazz. I do enjoy Eric Whitaker. Um, I think my favorite song would have to be October. It's just so calm and soothing. Like, I don't know why I like it, but, I don't know, it just speaks to me. That song, I played it once in, uh, college band. Best, best song ever. Listen to it, that's great. Um, next thing, favorite sports teams and why? Uh, so my favorite, uh, I guess, NFL team would have to be the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens, because obviously I was born in Baltimore, so it just makes no sense that Baltimore would be my favorite team. Um, my favorite college team is, um, the, is UCF Knights. Main reason I like UCF Knights is an obvious reason. Obviously, I went to the University of Central Florida, so why would that would have to be my football team for college football? Otherwise, I'd be a traitor. Potentially. They actually just beat Stanford. 40. Is it 45 or 20 something? It was, great. it was a great game. I saw the first two quarters and I started recording. But, good, good game. Good football. Although we did lose our uh, quarterback, but we have an even better one, I would argue. And they both went to the same like, high school, which I think is hilarious. Some things just never change, you know? Find all the landmarks. Where's the last landmark at, man? I don't know where it is. It's somewhere around here. Uh, as far as basketball is concerned, I like the Warriors. I don't know. The team just... They seem so together and cohesive, like a true team. They don't seem like they brag about their lives. It's like, look, we're here to play basketball and have fun in the process, so we're gonna have fun while we're doing it, and I appreciate that. I can't say I'm the brown James. He just does too much. Favorite animal? So my favorite animal? I love owls. Owls are my favorite. Um, they just speak to me. They're, such, they're always represented in the media as being wise creatures. I consider myself to be a wise individual. So I would say not only is it my favorite animal, I would argue that it's my spirit animal. Everyone should have a spirit animal. Because, like, what are you doing in your life if you don't have a spirit animal? You know? Um, if I had to pick a secondary animal, I don't know. I've never actually thought about a secondary animal that has a favorite. So, I'll just say that I don't have a second favorite, because I don't really need to have a second favorite animal. Um, where do I want to visit in the next 10 years and why? I've always wanted to go to Japan, mainly because I love anime great. I love manga. Manga is great. Like, manga is mainly the only thing that I read, to be honest. I enjoy reading, but I find that I read more manga and graphic novels than anything else. Um, I don't know, they just speak to me. In high school, I would always read them. I would watch anime- I used to watch anime and manga when anime and manga wasn't cool. Specifically, people would get bullied for, like, the little Naruto run thing, which I mean is fine, but people used to get bullied for that stuff, and now everyone's like, yeah, Naruto, Naruto, Boruto, etc. Et and it's like, this stuff has been here already for like years now. Like, you think it's cool, but 
like back in my day, it wasn't cool to like anime. You were a nerd if you like anime. And now look at kids. Now they just, just they just watch it a lot. And it's it's kind of not fair to me when you think about it. It's like, bro, people used to get bullied over this, and now like it's cool for you to do it. Like this is not how that should work. But I digress. So I definitely want to go to Japan. Um, and then, um, I would also like to go to South Korea, because my best friend is originally from South Korea, she's South Korean, or Korean specifically. Um, so I would love to go there and just to see it and experience the culture. I'm also intrigued by Asian culture in general, so that's another reason I would definitely like to go there. Uh, obviously I need to go to Italy because I'm obsessed with all things pasta so like it's just befitting it's own, it just has to happen because I love pasta like pasta is practically like my favorite food but in general I just enjoy carbs so I, I don't know what that says about me but I like carbs carbs are great Jesus I want to go to Italy, obviously, for eating real pasta and like, pizza and all that jazz. I also want to go to France because of Eiffel Towers. I mean, honestly, most of Europe I want to visit because I'm just, I'm just curious to see all the, all the, not monuments, but historical areas and the art, just, just everything. I feel like America doesn't really have cool things because it's a young country. Like all the fun stuff, like Big Ben, and palaces, and stuff we don't have because we're, 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 we're a young country and we're always about making new and improved things, which I feel like affects, you know, our stuff. We don't have old things, which isn't a problem in and of itself, but I feel like it's kind of sad. When I, when I think about people like traveling, like I don't think about them like, yeah, I wanna go to America to, you know, go see the White House. <laughs> That's not something I'd wanna go to visit. I'm sure people probably go do that, but like, there's something crazy that I'd, I'd imagine I'd wanna go visit. There's nothing here that's on the scale of like the White House or Big Ben, there's just nothing. But this physically isn't anything, I would argue. But that's just me. There's literally nothing. Like on that grand scale. There should be, but there isn't. Unfortunately. That was problematic. But yeah. So just to see all like the landmarks, old stuff, all of those things. Um so that's Japan, Korea, Germ I would call it Germany. Uh the UK, Italy, France. Uh, Nigeria. I would love to go to Nigeria. Or, like, just to experience Africa, or at least some countries in Africa, to like see what that's about. like. Just see the culture and the things. I'm just genuinely interested, and I feel like you don't really learn about Africa in school. And the stuff we do hear about Africa is always negative. So I'm just curious to see, like. What else is there in all the lies that you know the world has told us? Because you know, people lie historically. And that's just not I'm into. But definitely, I'd want to visit at least every continent. I hate these things. Freaking. I 
I'm gonna go everywhere. I don't have the money to do that, but you know, that's definitely something I would love to do. Um, favorite part about teaching? Hmm, this is a fun one. And by fun, I mean not a fun one. So, if I had to pick my favorite part about teaching. Oh, oh, I think I did it. Oh. Awesome. There are many strange places in this world. Huh? Okay. And if I had. I, the, my favorite part, I think, would have to be. Like, watching. Like that light bulb moment after you've been explaining something for like 10 days the same thing over and over and you feel as if you can't think of any other way to possibly explain it and you're so frustrated and you're just like why don't you get it the moment we finally get it is probably my favorite part or one of my favorite parts I'm just like oh finally oh marvelous I don't know what to say. With th this, I might be able to piece together how they made this area. The uh, ancients, I mean. Uh, here, take this. I'm looking forward to working with you again. I if you want, that is. Awesome! Level up! Gang, gang. I slip. Uh, my, the other favorite part I would say I enjoy is hearing their stories about their lives and what's going on and to be honest like the teaching part I'm not more so interested in only what is broken to open this door okay it's not even the teaching that gets it for me because there are some people who are like yeah teaching is is everything blah 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 I'm more so interested in, in their stories you know and like what they do with their lives and how they feel and what's happening and them trying to figure out what they want to do and what they want to be. Like, I'm also interested in that and like getting them on the right path because I feel like most of us. Oh, did I find him? Hey! Nicer, isn't it? Um, it's gotten way past on guys already, but it's still my favorite area, so I kind of care about some getting frustrated with the game. LOL. Same. I don't really want to talk to him again. Okay, well, that was a bad idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Girl. But yeah. I'm more so interested in, you know, helping them get their lives together. At the end of the day, they're not going to remember what they learned in class. They're not going to remember the math equations if they don't need them later on in life because there's no need for them to know those things depending on what they do but what they will remember is the teacher they can't stand or the teacher that didn't let them tell their story or the teacher that didn't listen to their interests that's what, that's what they're going to pay attention to which is why getting into the next question I think has to do with what I want to if I like seeing kids grow and mature, I do like seeing that rather like because at least the ones I have currently. I kinda taught them tenth grade, I taught them all of you know, all of junior year. So it's definitely fun to see them like grow because they have grown a lot. And I, and I enjoy those moments a lot. See them turn into normal human beings that might actually be able to function in society. I like seeing that. It's, it's enjoyable. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like how parents feel about their own children. They see their kids grow and they're just like, oh, they're doing something. They're, they're actually being normal human beings. I feel like it's like the same type of feeling maybe. About time someone showed up and I hear you also helped us out with that lost data. 
nearly saved my butt there. I would have lost weeks of work if some critter had decided to eat it. But we gotta make it count now. I'm sure the group that jumped me had a special leader with them. Cut that one down, and they might just become your usual pack of beasts again. Right. Barbary spotted that sneaky rat again and tailed it to their hiding spot. It's in a cave across the river northeast of here. Follow me. Uh, no. I follow you in the cave? Oh yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Okay, sorry. I can do this though. Um, yeah. So I think it's similar to, like I said, parents watching their kids grow up and becoming real humans. It's like the same thing for me. Watching them go from being super immature to functioning humans that actually care and are probably going somewhere in life. I do enjoy that. But I think there's a better way to enjoy those moments without me actually having being able to teach them. Like I would enjoy being like a career like, like an academic counselor. Because then I could have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all the students, figure out what they want to do in life, and help them lead them to a good path and go from there. Speaking of which, there was actually an instance where I asked a student what she wanted to do with her life and she didn't know what she wanted to do. I was really confused because I'm like, don't you have a counselor? Well, don't be so loud. Do you want them to hear you? I'm talking about those thieving bovines. They've ambushed me and stole all the fruits and herbs I've been gathering. That's tough. Look at that beast grazing there like nothing happened. And there's more of them in the bushes just waiting for a victim. But you were sent to help me, right? I worked all day collecting that stuff. We need to get it back. Well, you have to do it. I have to watch for reinforcements. So good luck. With that said, I will continue my story in the next part. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all of your friends. But most importantly, stay saucy.